Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going over what is happening next week in the world of Gems of War on PC, mobile, Xbox, and a PlayStation. On Monday, of course, we have Guild Wars starting. This is not the battles. This is just Monday where you set your defenses. Make sure you don't use any troop or weapon twice, so no duplicate troops or weapons whatsoever to maximize the points of your defense. Anyway, Confucius say, Woman who pounce on dead rooster, go down on limp cock. <laughs> also starting Monday, we have the new world event. This one is Relic Hunter. It's a spell damage event, so you can get 160% spell damage for all troops in this event. I'll be doing my team for that on Monday as well. And at the same time, we can pick up this new troop. There he is on the screen right now, Relic Knight. An ultra rare undead and knight. And quite an interesting sounding spell, Vigil. Barrier an ally and give them a mana equal to half their mana cost. And if they're a knight, create three spirit gems. Use his blue and green. The traits are as follows. Number one is knight shield. Allied knights gain two armor. Undying, immune to poison disease, lycanthropy and death mark. And the final trait is armored. Reduce damage from skulls by 25%. So that glory troop will be available Monday. Also starting Monday, of course, we have a new Soul Forge. I'll be doing a video on that on Monday as well, giving you my recommendations of what are the best weapons to craft and maybe what to avoid. Same with the troops. I'll be telling you which are the best mythics in there if you've got some diamonds to spend. Check that out on Monday. Also on Monday, of course, we have the continuation of the current campaign. Uh, nothing fantastic in it this week in the new or first paid for pass really nothing fantastic and we do have a new troop the high priestess but it is absolutely flipping terrible i mean what the heck goes on with these uh tarot card troops they're either absolutely ridiculously amazing like the empress or like absolute nonsense like this create a spirit gem one there's a seven percent chance to gain an extra turn for each yellow on the board what i mean compare that to something like the empress how is that a legendary troop that is it's rubbish. Absolutely terrible. Pick it up anyway if you've got the paid for pass, of course. But yeah, when is that going to get used? I have no idea. It sounds absolutely rubbish to me. But hey, it's there. We can't have amazing, amazing troops all the time, I suppose. The Kingdom of the Week next week is Sword's Edge. And you can use this to your advantage using your event chests. When you open your event chests, you are only going to get troops from the kingdom that it's listed in. At the moment, it's Sin of Mirage. That's the current kingdom of the week but starting monday it's going to be sword's edge so we can use this to our advantage and you can have a little check first make sure you're not going to not going to be opening these for no reason because if you've got all the troops for example then you're not going to get anything different to what you got now unless you still need extra cards of a particular troop to get it to a mythic level so we go to show all and this brings up all the troops in Swords Edge. Anything greyed out means you're missing that troop. But by opening your event chests, starting from Monday, you have a chance of getting one of these missing troops. Particularly useful if you're missing any of the mythics as well, which you can check by changing card name to base rarity. And it's Champion of Arnu and Champion of Guard are the two mythics from Swords Edge. On Tuesday, we have a faction assault in Crypt Keepers. So a good chance to get some more shards, open some more portals, get your horde level up if you need to, and do some more delves. Wednesday, it's pet rescue time, and now Toy Soldier needs rescuing. This one gives a team bonus to knights with a maximum of times three team bonus when you get this thing to Mythic. On Thursday, we have a class trial in Night Class. It's not one of the best ones for me. The traits are really, really weak. You compare it to some, some other stuff like Geomancer and Elementalist, and these are absolutely terrible. You compare, and it's not like, in particular, the actual talent trees make up for it. They're okay, a lot of defensive stuff. But, um, yeah, it depends upon your play style, I suppose, and things like that. But regardless of whether you're going to use it or not, still try and get it to level 100, because you never know when it may come in handy. And on Friday we have an invasion and Vor Khan is the main troop here. He's the siege breaker, deals three to five times skull damage versus towers based on his ascension and damage to an enemy and if they're a tower dealing three to five times damage versus the towers. So you can grab that troop if you don't have it already. 
But there it is. There's the spoilers for next week. Some cool stuff going on. Again, these are subject to change. Nothing is set in stone in these. They can change, but they don't change that often. There it is. Um, Guild Wars next week is the main event. Lasts all week. I do like Guild Wars. I'll be doing my Guild Wars videos here every single day, showing all, all my battles at the same time. So there it is. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.